Yes, there was a point. There was a point that you had sort of just let out this exclamation, screamed real loud. Although North Carolina wasn't ranked, it's a battle of blue bloods. Was this a statement win for Kentucky? Did you guys consider this a, a, a huge matchup? Um, you know, Coach Cow going into it, he was like, man, just play this like an exhibition. It's December. Um, you know, we're still figuring things out. Um, it's only a big game once you win after. So after after the game, obviously, it's a big win playing against a blue bud. And as players, um, not many people get, you know, the opportunity to play against um, a Duke, a Carolina, and, a, you know, later we play Kansas all in one year. And um, so I'm just super excited and super grateful to be here to have the opportunity to play against those type of programs. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want to come here and win. And win. So and we, and we did that. Savir, you talked earlier in, in the season about being motivated a little bit by some of the doubts that people had when you transferred here. Obviously, a lot of that came back after Notre Dame. How much was that in your mind this week, bouncing back from, from last week's performance? Uh, no, nah, none of it was in my mind. I mean, every you know, everyone's going to have a bad game. Um, it just so happened that it was that game and we lost. But uh, I'm, I'm a confident kid, as um, I hope as many people can tell. And I play for the big lights. Like, this is why I came here, to play against the best, to be challenged every day um, and practice by my teammates, by my coaches, and, and play a tough schedule where we got to play. You got to show up to win. You got to win your matchup. Um, so this opportunity, I was really looking forward to it, um, no matter who we play, if it was Ohio State or if it was North Carolina. But, um, no, nah, I didn't have any doubt. I was, I was just looking, you know, see what I could have done better and, uh, f you know, flip the, flip the page and, and come out and play today. Savir, much was made about Notre Dame leaving you open on the perimeter, trying to take away the drive. Tonight you got to the rim again, again, again. What made the difference, and how much was there a motivation to prove something with that? Uh, no, it was nothing um, to prove anything. Um, I think the biggest thing was you know watching film and seeing what they gave me, um, and I, I I know my my strengths is coming off that. You know, that elbow area, making jump shots, going right or going left. And um, Coach Cal was like, man, shoot, shoot shots that you know you can make. Um, don't worry about anything else. Just shoot balls, play with confidence. And um, that's what I did, and that's what forced them to make that adjustment. Um, you know, they started going under, obviously, the, the beginning of the game. I made a couple shots second half. Now they're going over. Now everyone is – the lane is opened up like the Red, like the red Sea. And I was able to get guys, get some layups, and, uh, you know, create for other guys as well. You mentioned looking at film. I think Tennessee got 22 layups against them. I think tonight you guys had 20 layups and dunks. Did you? Did, That's crazy. That, That's crazy what? you said because me and my dad watched that Tennessee game uh, this morning um, as he was coming to the game in the airport. He called me. He was like, yo, let's watch this Tennessee game um, and see how they were able to get into the paint. And and, and uh, we dissected that. So. And what, I mean, you talked about a little bit already, but what yeah, was challenging it? What the did you really foot, see there? Challenging the bigs' foot speed, um, especially, you know, they play so low and you know, they try the ice side ball screens. Um, it's not many people who can, you know, match my foot speed. So no, once I got, you know, downhill um, with good screens set up by our bigs like Oscar and Lance, um, I was able to make plays. The defensive effort today, uh, guys, and Cal talked about it earlier in the week, you guys finding your swagger. Is this uh, indicative of what that swagger looks like defensively and offensively? Yeah. Um, the biggest things were, for us, Coach Cal always says, we get to 80 points, I mean, we're going to win most of our games. And if we hold opponents to 60, 62, 65, we're going to win that game. And, um, you know, we did that previous game, but we didn't make shots um, against Notre Dame. We played – you know, we play good defense. Yeah, at 65 points, you're supposed to win that game, especially here at Kentucky. So our big thing was, like, getting back to what we do, getting back to flying, getting back to sharing the ball, um, getting back to playing for somebody else. You don't have the play, you don't hold the ball. Just get, him, um, get off of it and make a play for somebody else and let someone else make the play. So we just get, got back to what we're doing for six months um, in the summer, which was running, playing with speed, playing selfless, and letting the game come to us. Oscar, uh, Willie Ramirez with the Associate Press off to your right. Yeah, 12 boards. You guys came in as one of the leading rebounding margin teams. I think 16.9 coming into the game. You out-rebound them by 18. When your teammates are getting – it seemed like just – there was one sequence, I think there was four offensive rebounds in the first half. When your teammates are getting in on the action and to sort of help you on the boards, does it make your job easier? Yes, sir. Um, that really making my job easy, and it really helped the team – I told him, I say, I want to go out there and grab a 20 rebound. If you guys are not going for it, 
Uh, and able to help with this team is what we're doing right now. So we had a lot of conversation. Let's talk. Let's go for every rebound. Like I grabbed like today, 12. Keon was going for rebound. Everybody was going for rebound. And one of the things I do, if I see my teammates, we jump together, but I see him, he got it. I'm not going for it because if I try to fight, we might lose it. So I just play for the team, and I'm enjoying what we're doing right now. They're not just let me do all the work. Uh, I'm glad they're helping me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oscar, how well do you think you guys competed, you know, fought, and all the stuff that you guys were talking about coming into this game? Um, I think we did great. We did good. Uh, we were a little bit opposite because for what happened in Notre Dame. So we went back and we talked. We had a two for 19, and we stayed, they stayed beat us by two. And that's why we figured out. We said we have, we have a good team, but if we can – play basketball, we just go. We miss, go back in defense, defend it, do something else. Um, I think, like, we're going to do great, and uh, we have confidence with each other, and uh, we are together. That's one thing I love about this team. Kind of along those lines, how much did this team just kind of need a day like today against a, a, a marquee opponent? You know, you're on the big stage, and, and to play, to kind of put all the pieces together and play well like this? We need days like today every single time we step in and play basketball. Um, if we came out like this every single night, every single day, uh, it's going to be so tough for the people we're going to go against. They're going to have a nightmare to play against us. Um, so it's going to be good. Um, we're going to go talk. We're not going to back down. We're going to keep getting better and bring the same energy we had today every single night, every single day. Hi, right, this is C.L. Brown with the Raleigh News and Observer. Um, for either one of you guys, is there any kind of apprehension that you have given that COVID has kind of popped back up and we're seeing games canceled and obviously this game wasn't supposed to be your opponent? Like, how, how do you guys feel about what you're starting to see as the trend right now? Um, <clears throat> you know, you know, some of the – I don't know if we talked about it with everyone, but I know some of us were like, man, this could be our last game for a while. Um, so just go out there and give it your all. Like, play your hardest. Um, and you know, you, at this level, you typically only have one game a day. So why not just go balls to the wall, play your hardest, play for your brother, and try and try to win a game? Um, you know, obviously that was some speculation about that, but we haven't been focused on that. We were focused on our game today and winning the game and getting the job done.